so today's problem is how to find how to find mirror of the tree mirror of binary tree so let's first start with the definition what is the mirror of the tree so say suppose you have the tree like this node 1 we have in the left and right 2 3 into we have 4 and 5 so when we convert this tree into its mirror so its left and right subtrees will be different the root will be the same but 3 2 the mirror of the previous one <coughs> while 2's left and right sub uh, left and right children will also be swapped they will be left and right in this way so now if you want to make <coughs> this kind of binary tree how you can proceed so let's start with the thinking that what you want to do say suppose you have this node 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 and then 5 then you want to make the mirror of the tree then the right subtree should become the left subtree and that should happen recursively for each and every level like for this level we are changing for this level also we are changing and if there are any children of 3 then in that also the right and left sub part la right and left subtrees should be changed so in which way we can get this thing what can be the possible way so let's think how we can make so here is the here is the first way i'm thinking first way first way that i thought is let's traverse the tree main tree we got the root one create a new node same one now traverse for its right and left subtree both left and right subtree both here we have traversed its left part which while here while creating we will copy it into the right part while we have its left sub left subtree main trees left subtrees three that we will copy into the right so this can be the possible way so let's code for it how can we code for it think that we have structure definition i'm defining struct node integer well and struct node star pointer left and struct node star right this is the definition of the node now when the tree is generated say suppose we are passing a function struct node star mirror and this function should be passed over tree struct node star root so we have passed this root we have passed this root one okay now what we want to do is we have to create temporary root so we'll start with that struct node start temp okay now we'll check for the boundary conditions that if root equal to equal to null Return null. 
So if the given tree, this tree which we are passing, it is null, then no need to do the middle of the tree, right? Second part, what we are doing is, we need to copy this root, this root. See, this is what we are making as an a stem. Okay, so that stem we need to copy from the new old root. So what we will do is temps value. I have taken here is well. You can take it well. Okay, I will take it well only. So temps value equal to what roots value. So one is copied over here. Now what we want to do? We have to traverse it recursively for right and left subtree. But whatever it will return, that should be written to the reverse way, left and right, or right and left. Got it. So what we will do is temps left is equal to equal to mirror of the tree will call the same function with the roots what right see mark this condition we are calling temps left function with the mirror same function with the roots right as in a parameter so what will happen the same function will be called we are passing roots right so roots right is this three okay this three when it will be get copied temps value equal to roots value so new node would have been created over here and that will be stored into temps left so now now what was the temp one and temps left was three so this three will be copied to this three you got that how recursion works yeah so for right subtree we'll call temps right equal to mirror same function we'll call again with the roots left again same fundamental roots left root is this roots left is two we are calling again this function with roots left so now in the sub function root will be two okay two's value will be copied to the new temporary node and when it will return after all the recursions when it will return two will be written to temps left into the previous subroutine call two will be given to temps right so two will be given to temps right you got that how the subroutines and how this recursion works so this is how recursive function works now what we will do now can we do it now yeah will analyze the complexity of the previous function now what we are doing the cause and prawns of the previous approach first we are making first we are making subroutine calls second subroutine in the sense you can say that recursive Second, finally we are returning the new tree. So the tree itself is staying as it is, but we are returning the new tree. So the space complexity we use is order of n. Extra space we, we used. Now, what if I want to, <coughs> what if I want to use no space complexity is it possible yeah it is possible which is the in place now how you think that in place can we do let's think this thing we are deleting this tree we'll draw it properly 
so let's say we have the tree one two three four and five now what i'm making is from this tree is one i'll change this left and right subtree in place so first step is this now in second step what will happen three two now when i'm changing the pointers of this particular level these things will remain same five now for this subtree i again call the function and this subtrees next children's that will be swapped swapped in the sense pointers will be changed right to left left to right so in the third step it will happen the three two five and four so this is the final step mirror so if we want to code for this how can we code for this let's start as we are not creating any as we are not returning any node or we are not creating any another tree we no need to return it right so we'll start function with the void void mirror no need sorry void mirror what we are passing struct node star root now we are passing the root now let's see if root equal to equal to null return null this is the simple condition you need to write it properly now let's see in else part what we can say why we need this condition is for this kind of node which don't have any subtrees so when we'll call it recursively we need to take care that it doesn't fail the code doesn't fail now what we will do is we will create a temporary node to swap struct node star temp okay now temp equal to roots left roots left equal to roots right and roots right equal to sorry temp so finally i have swapped two pointers i have just swapped two pointers this function sorry this function is to swap two point two pointers now <coughs> i swap these two pointers this this step is done now what to do for this step recursively i need to call this function for the subroutines or the right subtree and left subtree it's very simple right so recursively i'll call the same function for the roots left and the same function i'll call for the roots right simply done so now this code will create the mirror of the tree now let's check whether it's really working or not hmm. so as you can see the code here is void mirror if root equal to null then return else 
important here mm-hmm. one extra space uh, else struct node star temp temp equal to node star left left equal to right right equal to temp middle node left left now how can we see that our code is right what i'll do is before and after i'll call the in order function now see here how i have created the tree one one's left is two one's right is three one's left left is four and one's left's right is five so one two three two's left four two's right five when i'll do in order sorry it's not in order it's pre-order so when i'll do pre-order traversal it will be one two four five three why because tree is like one then it will call for the left then right so one two four five three pre-order traversal now when i'll do its mirror and then i do pre-order traversal what it will print one three two five four will it working one three two five four yes so before before the conversion before the conversion of the mirror tree and after the conversion i'm printing the tree see i'm calling for in order mirror of the tree and in order with the root so post so it is printing as it is the way it is wanting one two four five three and one three two five four as i have specified one one three two five four in the pre-order here i have specified in order but instead of that for clarification it is pre-order 